all right so good morning it is sunday almost at saturday it is sunday and we are on our way to church late as per usual it's just life with a kid nala has still been getting up every two hours oh yeah did i show you guys did i show two the two people she got teeth assist. Well, she got teeth coming in. They ain't in all the way, but you can see them. Dang, you is rude. She is not really caring for me right now. So, you wanna show the people your, your nuts? No, I guess that's no. She's not really feeling me right now because she's recently started to hate her hair band in. And she's been really stuffy. She's been still she's still getting over her cold from daycare but she doesn't have a temperature anymore and she is teething so she's been waking up every two hours like i said so you know i'm not the person to care for which is fine i guess i'll be the bad guy while david just swoops in and be the good guy we have a busy day well not busy day but it's a fulfilled day because we are actually going to a baby expo. This is the first baby expo I've ever heard of. Yeah, me too, actually. Let me... Wedding expo, stuff like that, but not a baby expo. Yeah, I never heard of a baby expo. So, if you guys been following us, you know that we have been in search for a, a stroller that can fit in my trunk. We have found a temporary that's doing good, but it's only a temporary. So I found out that the stroller I was looking at, which was, ooh, which is like a, like a foreign stroller. You usually only get the stroller in like overseas. But I found out that the people are coming to this expo in Tampa. So I was like, this is probably my only chance to really demo this product or see how it works if I like it. So it's a single that converts to a double that actually seems like it breaks down small enough to fit in the trunk. So I seen a, um, a post on Instagram from them saying that they're going to be at that spot. So I'm like, cool. I want to be there. Plus, um, they're demoing like the Ergo baby. Been wanting to look at new baby carriers. So just all kind of stuff going on. So let's just go. We got Alrighty, so we are in the garage at the expo. I wasn't able to record at church because there's just a whole lot going on. So now we in the garage trying to get life together. David's making Nala's bottle while she is napping. She's gonna get up soon. Yeah, she's gonna get up soon. Yeah, so. We're just trying to get everything in a row so we can just go ahead and go. Looks like already people coming out and in and buying stuff and all kind of stuff like that. So we'll see if we can get closer. Oh, it is hot today. Blazing. It is hot. Just trying to get any shade. I got on the wrong outfit. You knew you had on the wrong outfit though. I knew from the start. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You ain't for it today, huh? <laughs> There's the Ergo baby. Look at Nala. She is not for it today. She knows the camera though. They ain't put no money into it. They ain't put no money into this? Oh, there's Once Upon a Child over there. Oh, they know what's up. They got everybody in here. I kind of want to test Nala out in one. I wonder if you got to wait in line. They got like fake babies. I think you got to put a fake baby in it. Hey, baby. Hey, say hey to the people. Oh, duck face. You doing your duck face? <laughs> All right, on to the next. You right. 
Sorry. We got all the diffusers. All the diffusers. They got all the baby bags. Twelfth little. Twelfth little. Oh, you ran right into it, huh? Shoes over here. These. These are two fifty. Yeah, we are back. Ooh, they got the portraits. Taking pictures. Oh, let me see this. A fancy looking stroller. It does go with double yet. We're not marketing in the US as a double at the moment, but we do have we do have a limited amount of double seats. So we can do it, yeah. And this is the eye candy. Ooh. Eye candy. That's real lightweight. So yeah, two Maxi Cozy car seats like that. Moves real easy. You can put two bassinets for the So to fold it. It's easy to move around. Oh, it's really easy. Yeah. They sent us in the mail. Yeah, but I'm saying like a lot of stuff don't have nothing to do with babies. Like that other road, 
like, uh, I mean, it does, but it's like hospital stuff. Yeah. Like financial advisors or like pharmacy, that like stuff you don't really yeah. you know that they care about. Car. Yeah. Like, I expect it so far to be like more boutiques, more shops, more like the Yeah. They text to get in here. Yeah. Oh, we got some of the stuff already. Like the, uh, we got that swaddle already. We got that. That's the diaper pan we got. And we got the diaper pan, and we got that swaddle. <laughs> well, that's different. Car seats, Chico baby. That one looks so much more convenient than the cradle thing we be hauling around. What one? The packing plate. Oh. It's kind of like small. a portable bassinet. That looks small. But the doctor talk can fit in it. The low logo. We got something like that, right? Yeah. That's the big one. We got we got to hold that haul that thing pretty much when we travel. Kind of what we have. <laughs> so we haul this big old thing right here. Yes. What we haul around. It's a lot. Like we should have just got a basket in. Yeah, but she'll use it when she get older. Yeah, she'll use it, but I think part for the next baby I'm gonna get a basket in. Yeah. Especially when we have Nala and another baby, it'll be a lot to take Nala stuff and the next baby in a pack of plates. Yeah. But fifteen dollars? Nah, eighteen dollars. We they paid eighteen. I don't think it was worth the uh they got it. Eighteen dollars each. So what you think about that expo, Nala? Trash. Yeah, it was trash. 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 Ooh, you can't see me. I'm black. All right, so we are leaving the convention, and now we're just trying to find something to eat to make up for this bamboozleness. I think how long we was there? Maybe an hour. Yeah. It's that like an hour and no shade, no tea, but it's just not it. The only booth we went to was the stroller one, right? Yeah, and I thought there was going to be more booths. If I knew that there wasn't going to be enough, I probably would have stayed a little bit longer at the booth that I really wanted to be at. But that stroller was so lightweight. That thing move with ease. It better for its price. I got a little nervous when I seen them tires because them tires are big. Yeah, they are big. But the one thing about this stroller over the other strollers is that you can easily just pop off the wheels. And other ones that I've seen, it's like you have to lock them in. So that's a pretty good thing. So we try to get our life situated with parking and all that and then we'll talk officially once we are settled. But for the amount of rent you gotta pay to have a space in downtown, mm -hmm. then your customers gotta pay to park. Mm -hmm. But I would never put a restaurant downtown. Mm -hmm. I ain't even pump at all today. Yeah. Mm-mm. don't hurt. It, it, I can feel it a little bit. Shit about a jacket. It's cold. She ain't looking to check. It's mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> show's pretty good. I actually like the show. This Jungle Book show is pretty good. Yeah, I can watch it yeah. all day and not be bothered. It helps, that, it helps seeing the movie though. Seeing the Mowgli movie mm. and then watching this. Mm. Y'all, look at this pizza. It's like as big as the table. <laughs> that is so funny. For me and him only, we gonna do the thing. <laughs> Tearing it up, I'm tearing it up. Mm -hmm. I ain't think it was that big, but <laughs> we about to eat it. Yeah. All right, so how was the pizza? Pizza was good. Yeah. It hit the spot. Yeah. Is it like what you last remember? Yeah, but I don't think we got one that was that big nah. last time. <laughs> nah, it wasn't that big. <laughs> I had four slices, you had four slices. We still had eight slices left. Yeah. 
it wasn't that big but i do think it's worth getting the bigger one than the large one because it's only a couple dollars difference when the tax hit this is our downtown you guys <laughs> had to get it out better out than then mm-hmm It's not. You staring at this milk. Y'all see her teeth? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Oh, I got change here. I forgot. Okay, clearly. It's been a little minute because my makeup's coming off and I am a little bit more cozy. Nala is just staring at me like I'm crazy as usual. David is actually over there cooking. He is doing some uh, Hello, Hello Fresh pasta. Um, yeah, he's making this one pan Ozoto. I don't know, Italiano. Basically a pasta. Look at him. He trying, y'all. Cooking it up. He trying. Why are you doing it with that? I don't know. Oh. First thing I saw. It'll be good, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, so he's making some HelloFresh. We still have some pizza left over. We haven't eaten that since we got back. You know what I just thought about? What's up? Why so much oil? Is it that much oil? It says put a bunch of oil on it. A bunch of oil? You yeah. think that's a bunch? Read what it says. It's, read what it says. Yeah, this is not a bunch. This is like deep fried. Read what it says. Let's see. A bunch of oil is just to cover the bottom. Okay, um, where are we? Um, once water is boiling, let me see. Yeah, heat a large drizzle of oil in a large pan. Large right, drizzle, I thought that meant like whole bottom of the pan. <laughs> yeah, you did more than the whole bottom of the pan. It's like bottom of the pan to me. You did way more than the bottom of the pan. It said drizzle. Ain't meat cooking. It's, it's meat cooking. You know what it is? It means enough to just coat it. I don't know that. This shit just said enough to just coat it. That's why it says drizzle. Nah, I don't know that slang. You like filled it up. Oh lord, this is gonna like cook too fast. I'm only, it's only gonna be in here for one more minute. Oh gosh. This is deep fried chicken, y'all. This is sausage. This is sausage? Yeah. Oh my god. So I just have its own little, oh, oh Lord, this is gonna be so cool. Oh. All right, whatever. <laughs> whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be good, don't worry, trust it. Trust in the process. Anyway, I'm gonna let him do him because I'm not cooking. But anyway, I came in because I realized I did not close out this video. Like I said, we just put the food up, came in the house, and just started resting. Uh, and we got caught up watching like a Disney movie with Nala. Nala had to taken maybe like one or two naps. And now she's up. And we are about to see the new season of Orange and New Black. But we have forgotten a good amount of stuff, so we have to go back way to season five. And it's on season seven, which is fine because when we started watching season seven, we was kind of like questioning like, oh, what happened with this? Oh, what happened with that? Usually I'm not really into shows like this, but somehow after um, not having nothing to watch for a really long time and then eventually someone was like, watch this and next thing you know, I was like two seasons in and stuck and now I got to know what happened. So uh, David is far way far behind 
because I think he got bored of it. The episodes are really long, so I can't get mad. I took some of the oil out. <laughs> <laughs> you took some of the oil out? Yeah, so it still needs a little this, bit. This is, a little bit. this is more close to the drizzle. Close. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, we're going to head out, you guys. We appreciate you watching this vlog. We will definitely see you in the next one. That's right. And this meal is going to be great. Don't worry. <laughs> Y'all pray for him, dog. Lenny Woods and Mon, R.I.P. your mom.